Are you ready to feel your heart stop again? Ready to feel the adrenaline almost explode? Millions of fans around the world are excited about the new sneak peek Netflix has given us, of the most anticipated series of recent years, Squid Game. Remember, this series managed to get millions of people to set their sights on the drama, and this is something that had never happened before. The most acclaimed and successful Korean series on Netflix of all time finally gives us a glimpse of what the second season will be like. Because Squid Game 2 is an event awaited by millions of fans worldwide. This striking series introduced us to a new world for lovers of this type of story. Squid Game managed to put Korean series on the map of successful Netflix series, and now millions of fans love this series. But there are many details and questions we have to answer. After seeing the new sneak peek that Netflix had for us regarding the second season of Squid Game, one of the most important and most thought-out questions by fans is, what happened to the women in this second season? Why do we only see men, and what is the reason Netflix will release this trailer without any women in the story? That's why in this video we want to talk to you about this very topic. What happened to the women in the second season of Squid Game? Revealed Theory To understand a little of the context of everything we will talk about in this video, we must understand that this series is a super successful series and that it has the audience records. Remember that before this no Korean series had achieved so much, even though they had their fan base. It was not something seen by millions and millions of people as it is now. Even after this successful series, Netflix developed a whole new department for K-dramas and Korean novels. This has undoubtedly become something of very rapid growth and has become a total trend. But to understand everything, we have to remember what this incredible series is really about. Squid Game presents us with a man in debt living day to day and struggling to keep his daughter in his life. In the midst of his desperation, he receives an invitation to a game that promises unimaginable fortune to the winner. But what is really at stake here? What this man never thought is that it would completely change his life. The participants, all equally desperate and in financial straits, find themselves in an unknown place, led by a mysterious masked organization. The game, inspired by traditional Korean childhood games, soon reveals itself as a struggle for life or death. That's where everyone realizes the problem they have and that they can't escape. As the games progress, the characters face intense moral dilemmas. Friendships and betrayals intertwine in a deadly dance. Squid Game is a shocking exploration of social inequalities and the extremes people can go to when they are desperate. For many, it is a lesson on how a human being could do anything for money and for others. It is an incredibly fun series because it actually keeps you in suspense at all times, and this is something that fans love. Now, in the second season, we have many unanswered questions and many fans want answers. We have waited for a long time and the fan base is desperate to know what will really happen with this new story. For example, who is really behind Squid Game? Although we see a mysterious figure known as the man in the mask, we know he is not the true mastermind behind it all. In the final episodes, it is revealed that the old man is the creator of the games, but is he really the only one involved? How are participants selected? Is it simply people with huge debts, or is there some other selection criterion? What happened to the North Korean participant's family, especially her younger brother? Although we know he was left in an orphanage after her death, what happened to him afterwards? In a squid game, the island where the deadly games take place is not specifically identified. It is an isolated island, apparently far from civilization, allowing the games to unfold without interference from the outside world. Indeed, the specific location of the island is kept secret for the characters and the audience alike. Participants are drugged before being transported there and taken back, so they have no way of knowing the exact location of the island. Two years after its premiere, Netflix has finally released some details about the second season of Squid Game. We all wonder, what familiar faces will we see again? What new threats are looming? Here we will tell you everything we know. 
As many of us expected, the series' protagonist will be back, ready to face the dangers of Squid Game again. The enigmatic Man in the Mask will also return, ready to continue his deadly games. And to the delight of many, our brave detective has not said his last word and will return in this new installment. In addition, a mysterious character who recruited participants for the game will also be part of this sequel. The second season will not only feature familiar faces, but will also introduce us to new characters who promise to bring more intensity and excitement to the plot. Among them, a former K-pop idol turned versatile actor, the villain of another Netflix hit, an actor well known for his participation in a very popular romantic comedy in South Korea, and an actor-rapper who stood out in a historical drama. But here comes the twist that has caused a stir on social networks. The cast list does not include any women. Doesn't that seem a bit strange? Will women not play a significant role in this new season? Many fans have shown their displeasure with this notable absence. In the comments of Netflix's Instagram post, thousands of likes support the statement, no women when one of the best things about the first season was the actress in it. Do you agree with this comment? Who was your favorite female character in the first season? Now, there's a possibility we can't ignore, what if Netflix is playing with us? What if they're creating suspense intentionally? Perhaps, in a very subtle way, they are showing us the harsh reality of the world of Squid Game. A world where survival is a constant struggle and where gender roles should not matter, but they do. Remember how season 1 touched on gender issues and social marginalization? If we put our minds to work, it is possible that they are building towards a similar climax. Maybe this is their way of preparing us for an even deeper exploration of these issues. We can't deny that the women in the first season played a super important role and really managed to get the audience to love them. These were women of all ages and backgrounds, demonstrating that courage and perseverance know no gender. They showed unshakable strength in terrifying situations, becoming iconic characters. In the series, women were not only supporting characters but key and vital participants, playing an indispensable role in the overall plot. They fought, schemed, made sacrifices, and even surprised us with flashes of compassion in moments of extreme tension. These representations of strong, determined, and multidimensional women showed equality in the struggle for survival, reflecting female empowerment and gender equity. So, what do you think? Is Netflix saving the best surprises for last, or is there more to this decision than meets the eye? Do you think there will be few or no women in this second season, and that's why we don't see women in the series trailers? Do you think that Netflix, realizing that many want women in the story, will now be able to incorporate women into their final story, or do you think it's too late to do so? Do you think this second season will be better than the first? Leave me your comments so we can all read them, 